By 2026, only one type of developer is still winning. Not the generalist who knows a little bit of everything. Not the specialist who clings to one stack like it's a security blanket. It's the T-shaped developer. What does that mean? Picture the letter T. The vertical bar equals depth in one craft. The horizontal bar equals enough breadth to flex across stacks, teams, and even AI workflows. It's simple, but it's also the difference between thriving and getting steamrolled by AI. Let's break it down. AI already eats the shallow stuff. GitHub's 2024 survey showed 92% of developers use AI for boilerplate, CRUD, and autocomplete. That's generalist territory, gone. Specialists aren't safe either. Remember the Rails devs who spent years cranking out boilerplate? Copilot now does it in seconds. Framework churn? Relentless. React feels untouchable today. So did jQuery. So did Angular. Betting your career on one framework is basically speedrunning obsolescence. Now layer in cross-functional expectations. Staff engineer job posts literally demand system design, cross-team collaboration, and AI familiarity. Nobody's hiring the React-only wizard anymore. That's why companies drool over T-shaped devs. They're glue. One fine engineer admitted his promotion didn't come from commits, but because he could lead back-end design, review front-end, and still talk product. That's the multiplier effect. So how do you build your T? Step one. Pick your deep axis, back-end, front-end, infra, AI, security, something that earns you credibility. Step two, add deliberate breadth. Two or three shallow skills a year. SQL basics, Docker, maybe AI pipelines, not mastery, just enough to collaborate. Step three, use AI as a breadth accelerator, not a depth replacement. Let it help you skim, prototype, and debug in areas you're new to. But depth, that comes from sweat and projects. Step four, apply it cross team, join infra reviews, ship a feature outside your stack, shadow another team. That's how breadth actually sticks. Here's the future proof reality. Generalists drown, specialists stall, T-shaped developers, they become the multipliers. The ones companies can drop into any room, design product infra and still trust to deliver. So audit your skill tree today. What's your vertical bar? Where's your horizontal reach? Because by 2026, that's the difference between being AI's assistant uh, or AI's replacement.